In this video, I go over systems of two equations using the elimination method. Here's our first problem. So the goal on these types of problems is to get one of the variables to be eliminated. If you look at this one, the one to be eliminated is going to be y. If you notice, negative y plus y is 0 if you just add these together. Then x plus x is 2x, and 8 plus negative 2 is 6. The next step is to divide both sides by 2 to get x by itself. 2's cancel on the left side. Then we have x is equal to 6 divided by 2, which is 3. Now we need to find out what y is. So just use one of the two equations that you start with. I'm going to use the second equation. x plus y equals negative 2. And again, we just found x to be 3, so we can plug in 3 for x. 3 plus y equals negative 2. Let's solve for y, so we need to bring the 3 on the other side, so subtract 3 from both sides. 3's cancel, and we get y equals negative 2 minus 3, which is negative 5. So our solution is x equals 3 and y equals negative 5. So this is your answer as a point. So here's our next problem. What variable would be the best to eliminate here? Would it be x or y? As it turns out, x would be the easiest to eliminate because you only need to multiply one of the equations by a number. So we can multiply this equation, the second equation, by negative 3. So if you multiply negative 3 times x, you get negative 3x. When you add that to 3x, you get 0, which is what we want. We want the x's to cancel out. If we multiply negative 3 through the parentheses, Negative 3 times x is negative 3x. Negative 3 times 3y, negative 9y. Negative 3 times 10 is negative 30. Now let's add this to the first equation. Now notice that the x terms are going to cancel out. We get negative 2y minus 9y is negative 11y. And negative 14 minus 30 is negative 44. Now let's get y by itself. We do that by dividing both sides by negative 11. The negative 11's cancel. We get y equals negative 44 divided by negative 11, or y equals 4. So now we have y. Let's find out what x is. I'm going to use the second equation to find out what x is. OK, so let's plug in 4 for y. So x plus 3 times y, which is 4, equals 10, or x plus 12 equals 10. To solve this for x, just subtract 12 from both sides. Minus 12 minus 12. You get x equals 10 minus 12, which is negative 2. So our solution to this system is negative 2 for x and 4 for y. So here's another problem. Uh, what variable should we eliminate on this one, x or y? There's actually no advantage to x or y on this one. So I'll just eliminate the x. So we need to multiply the top equation by 5 and the bottom equation by 2. So let's multiply those out. 5 times 2x is 10x. 5 times 5y is 25y. 5 times negative 10 is negative 50. 2 times negative 5x, negative 10x. 2 times 2y, 4y. 2 times negative 4 is negative 8. So now if you notice, the numbers we have in front of x are the same, except one's positive and one's negative. So when we add those together, the x terms are going to cancel. So let's add everything. 25y plus 4y is 29y. Negative 50 minus 8 is negative 58. Now let's solve this for y. So divide both sides by 29. That's going to get the y by itself. We get y equals negative 58 divided by 29. That is negative 2. So now let's find out what x is. We can use either one of the original equations. I'll just use the top equation. 2x plus 5y equals negative 10. We found y to be negative 2. Plug in negative 2 for y. So we get 2x plus 5 times negative 2 is negative 10 
equals negative 10. Next, let's move the negative 10 on the other side. We do that by adding 10 to both sides. So 2x equals negative 10 plus 10 is 0. That cancels as well. Then to get x by itself, you just divide both sides by 2. So x is 0. Then our ordered pair here is going to be x equals 0 and y equals negative 2. Here's another problem. So what should we eliminate, x or y? I think I'll eliminate x on this one. So let's multiply the first equation by 3. 3 times x is 3x. Three, 3 times negative 4y, negative 12y. 3 times 8 is 24. Okay, so let's add this to the second equation. When we add these equations together, we get everything to cancel out. That cancels, this cancels that cancels. So you get 0 equals 0. This is a true statement. 0 is equal to 0. So your answer for this one is an infinite number of solutions. Here's our last problem. I think on this one I'll eliminate the y variable. So let's multiply the top equation by negative 2. So that will make this be a positive 2y. When you add that to the negative 2y, these would, these would cancel out. So negative 2 times 3x is negative 6x. Negative 2 times negative y, positive 2y. Negative 2 times 4 is negative 8. Let's add this to the second equation. If you notice, we get the whole left side to cancel out. So this side is 0, and then we have negative 8 plus 6, which is negative 2. This is false. 0 is not equal to negative 2. So this one has no solutions.